Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we had given up our sword for gold dust building, uh, completed Georg, and finished off the last trip out to the Great Bay. We also returned to Snowhead after completing the Great Bay, uh, not only to turn in the sword for gold dust improvement, but because we found our last frog, we returned to the mountain village and with the Dongero mask performed a beautiful melody. I had figured out what this last mask is. So we have the couple's mask, the Keaton mask, the postman's hat, and the all night mask, all of which are collectible. I remember where they all were. And then this is part of the Andrew side quest with a different result at the end. Uh, and we are basically almost done. We have one more full heart piece to get. We need two more heart containers. There's a full container on the moon. So there are a total of eight, 10 heart pieces left. Uh, nine actually, because I, I really cannot get the one that I need. Ah, uh, following up, we cannot do anything related to cafe or Anju until 3 p.m. So, what we're going to do is try to clear out the uh, stone tower temple. We're going to try to complete it before we have to deal with the next step of the Anju and Cafe side quest. So what I want is the second platform. Here we go. I completely forgot about what the song was. The Elegy of Emptiness. Do 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 do. Off with the mask. I think I can shoot it from here. Oh, even better. So we don't have to deal with the temple right side up anymore. We have to deal with the temple basically exclusively upside down. So, let's get started. So what we've got going on in here is us traveling this way. No magic. Activate the sun. basically need to get into this tunnel that you see in front of us. Which... It's not that way. It's not that way. I think it's this way. This is going to be an interesting puzzle to say the least. Because I don't ever remember doing this dungeon uh, right side up, upside down, right away. We're going to find out if we can even do this, actually. 
Or if I have to turn it upside down. Okay. I see. We're going to activate this as well. Because I think that's also the key. Okay, that was a simple boot. Okay. Get the sun. Oh, that activates the wrong side. I actually don't think I need to worry about whether or not this other platform is triggered or not. Oh. Ugh. Awful. Down we go. Ride the air currents up. Off we go. In. Not what I was expecting. My goodness, that was traumatizing. Turn the world upside down. Oh, isn't that interesting? Very interesting. I don't have enough magic to do this. Uh, well, I, at least I found a place that does do green potion. There we go. Okay.
and up. And here we go. Flip the world. Flip it again. So that's so interesting. It's not the temple flipping, it's only the room. Not what I meant to do. I always thought in these rooms when the temple rotated, it was the whole temple. Now I feel almost cheated knowing that it's just the rooms changing. Three, four. And rotate. Again, not what I was after, but it works. Rotate the world. Only have to push it twice. No, once. Not up. Once. And up. Grab and push. To think that we're almost done the game. This this can't actually be the last cycle because we can't get the all night mask in this cycle. Nor can we get all the other elements that we want to acquire. Hot, 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 hot. I kind of want to see what's going to happen if I do... Okay, it took two arrows rather than four. One. Two. Okay. Up we go. And this way. So I want to fly. And this is the way that I want to go, yes. Oh, 
Okay. Out and around. Don't need these. Come on. Magic, please. There we go. Okay, go mess once again. Here she comes. Bring out Okay. So the Great Fairy Sword! Super amazing! We technically don't even need the Gilded Sword, but it's something that I kind of want so that I can just have it. We're gonna go in, open the chest, and now for the last bit of the dungeon, it is to go and reach the boss. Which should be easy. Should be noted that uh, the fairy sword as well is uninhibited by being jinxed. Okay. Up and away. Careful twist. Out. And around. Okay, and what I want is this. Oh, I need a key. That's what this other room is for. Okay. There's still... There's not much left to this dungeon, actually, as we approach the... Finality of it. We would have been done it much faster if I had come into the dungeon with a proper amount of magic power. Then we're gonna turn. I think I need to flip it. Okay. 
Okay, cuz I need to be here. Up we go. And through the locked door. Blows up the Igor statue. This is going to be five rupees because it was the giant's mask. Okay. Hit that. Okay, I want this. Full magic, full hearts. And here we are at the final boss. Well, yeah, the final boss. Because Majora being the final, f the, the final boss doesn't have a boss key or anything. This is the giant masked insect twin mold. In the 3DS remake, you have been given a lot more uh, objects to shoot at. And you have to actually play the dungeon differently. We're going to start off the dungeon uh, in our best form. Rawr! Oh. Well, that's the giant's mask. We would have needed the gilded sword to uh, battle the twin mold bosses this way, but we don't have the gilded sword right now. So what we're after is the tails. Basically, this is a game of patience out. Oh, you monster. So the outcome of this match could be different if I had the giant's mask because instead of hand shooting and hand fighting the boss with arrows I could be using a gilded sword against them instead of what I'm trying to do with my bow. Oh, I am now out of bow arrows. So you know what, let's bring out the power of the mask. Because I need arrows. Hmm. 
Never mind, that's not working. Okay. Uh, this. Well, that gave me magic arrows. Okay. This is actually really interesting. I've never... Because I don't do the Gilded Sword the way that I normally did it, nor did I do uh, boss battles how I normally do them, I never knew that I couldn't do anything with the Giant's Mask if I don't have my swords. Okay, one of the twin molds is gone, the red one. So now they blow up, leave the head, and it falls. Okay. Now the blue one is probably gonna get a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Now. It's also faster, I've noticed. Okay, thank goodness. Ten more arrows. Excellent. And we're back at this again. Oh my goodness, that worked. Okay. So I'm literally biting my tongue to do this. There we go! I ran out of arrows, I ran out of magic, I had no ability to attack him as Giant Link. Oh. This was awful. Get the heart piece, and I'm basically booking it back to town. Because I don't know if I can even do it now. I was supposed to be back in Clock Town before the 3.30 time when the mail exchange was supposed to happen. Well, we've helped all of you. That's all we can do. Call us. That's what they're saying. Without being told, we understand. So now you'll help us out in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower, so do something about him, all right? What? Their voices sound sad. You don't want to? Forgive your... Forgive our friend? What do you mean by forgive? And what friend? Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is all about because there's no change to this region.
Okay. Uh, grab the ocarina. Fly back to Clock Town. We're gonna quickly jump and do. Hopefully, we can still make it. Activate the next part of Andrew's quest. Hopefully, we can still do it. If not, then we're doomed. Laundry pool. Excuse. Yeah, it's your private property. Sure, go right ahead. You enjoy that flower. Jump. Okay, we can go in. Green hat. Green clothes. And you wrote about you. Wrote about you in her letter. It seems you're looking for cafe. Can you keep a secret? Andrew trusted you. I shall trust you. I am Cafe. The Cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by a prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You're just like my partner. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh. I pity you. I know Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant, give it to Andrew. You've accepted the pendant of memories. Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyways. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. Okay. We've been entrusted with a precious object. We're going to quickly deliver that because, oh my goodness, time is short. So let's go. Also, I don't understand these grown-up things. I totally understand. Where's Andrew? Did I miss? No! Wait, that doesn't make... I might have one more opportunity to do this. Which will be in the morning because she has to agree not to leave. Okay. I'm still missing one more. Say con? No. I don't know who this last guy is. Anyways, uh, actually, I know I, 
was gonna be like, oh yeah, there's a look. There is one last thing we, one last thing we can do, in. You know what? Let's go drop off money, because the next thing we're gonna do is gonna give me a lot of money. And we're gonna cut back to uh, Ikana Canyon. Okay. So, we're going to jump cut. Jump cut. So we want to go up the river. Because up here we have this special waterfall cave. You can do this anytime after you got the light arrows. Because you need... Oh. You need light arrows. There we go. To open the door. This is also the last thing in Ikana that we have to do. <laughs> it seems somehow you have managed to send the Ikana's wandering spirits into peace. But outside of Ikana, there are still swarms of wandering spirits which linger with lingering regrets. The ones in this room want to meet you again and have been waiting here for quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. I'm sure they'll welcome you. <laughs> okay. Right over here, you'll see some uh, hanging pendants. This uh, remarks how many hearts you need. So we need four hearts to enter this room. A Denalfos. With the Great Fairy Sword, you can kill all three Denalfos in one big spin attack. The reason why we have uh, put away everything is each room will have a chest for a hundred rupees. I highly recommend you don't come into this challenge room with the adult wallet and you come here with the giant's wallet. Next, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the whiz robe. Yes. One of the few times you'll see the whiz robe get to perform his spell. Primarily because I'm letting him. Two, three. 
And he's done. Center of the room. No hanging. These clay hearts can be a bit disturbing. Another hundred rupees. We may end up doing all a couple of things again in the pursuit of 5,000 rupees. This way. It's word wart again. So we will once again rush to a corner. We didn't have the Great Fairy Sword before. These are supposed to be like tadpole eggs. One. Since we have the ability, two light arrows. We still have one more challenge to do. Kick that. Open this. So there's a lot of hearts dangling for that room. And then we have this one. I think this requires 16 hearts. One more. 
there we go. Again, great fairy sword. Amazing. We're gonna pop this open. Get ourselves another 100 rupees. And we come back out here. This guy's waiting for us. <laughs> you really are an amazing person. Um, you. It seems you've somehow managed to heal their souls. Maybe I shall vanish soon myself. Well then. <laughs> And in the middle, summons a big chest. This is the last Ikana Canyon item, aside from Anju and Cafe quests. Ba -ba -ba -da. There we go. So that is going to be it for this episode of Majora's Mask. Thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Majora's Mask content. We'll see you all in the next episode where hopefully we can revive our attempt of doing the Andrew and Cafe mission. Hopefully. I'll see you all next time. Later!